So this is my new 16 inch MacBook Pro and it's completely maxed out. That means 64 gigs of RAM, an eight terabyte SSD, an eight gigabyte GPU, and an upgraded CPU. This thing is the best MacBook money can buy. Now I could talk to you about how awesome the new keyboard is, or how gorgeous the screen is, or how all those folks saying the new speakers are incredible were absolutely spot on. But there's no point, you can get all that elsewhere. Check out Rene Rich's review, for example. Instead, I want to talk about what matters most to me as an iOS developer, and that is how fast does this thing compile code? To try to answer that question, I'll be building various projects from scratch, starting from small Swift projects up to larger, more complex code bases. Along the way, I'll try and give you estimates of how many lines of code each project has. But of course, in practice, it's more complex than that because of things like tests, conditional compilation, and so on. To help provide some context for performance, I'll be comparing this MacBook Pro against my previous MacBook Pro, the first touch bar model from 2016. Now that old thing had a quad core i7 CPU at 2.9 gigahertz, plus 16 gigs of RAM, so it was far from slow. But as you'll see, this new one outclasses it at every step of the way. So if you're thinking about buying one of these things for yourself, or if you work for a company and want to convince your boss to invest in one of these for you, watch on. Okay, we're gonna start off with a small Swift project using my app for learning Swift, Unwrap. The screen on the left is slightly larger because that's the 16 inch MacBook Pro with its higher resolution display. On the right is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I'm gonna press Command B on both machines at the same time and we can see how they compare. While that's building, the main code for this is about 12,000 lines of Swift code, but the dependencies for this include another 9,000 lines of Objective C and 2,000 lines of C and C++ headers. Okay, so the 16 inch MacBook Pro is finished already. It took about 17 seconds to do its clean build. The 15 inch MacBook Pro is still working hard. Now by any corporate standards, this definitely counts as a small project. Chances are you're working on a project five to 10 times larger, if not much more. Again, it's only about 12,000 lines of Swift code, plus some Objective-C. Okay, it's done and it took 42 seconds. So the 2019 model was two and a half times as fast, which is a great result. Remember, it has twice as many cores, and for a lot of compilation, those cores can be used in parallel. Next up, let's try a slightly larger project, AudioKit. Again, I'll press Command B on both machines at the same time to start a build. AudioKit is a large open source library for performing audio synthesis and analysis. And in total, it's about 56,000 lines of Swift, 40,000 lines of C, 23,000 lines of C++, and about 15,000 lines of Objective-C. Okay, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is finished, and it took about 20 seconds, which is only a little more than it took to build on RAP. AudioKit has a lot of conditional compilation because it supports various platforms, so this isn't terribly surprising. The 15-inch is still working your way. There is, after all, a huge amount of code to get through to build AudioKit. But any minute now, boom, it's finished. That was 43 seconds. So the difference isn't quite as large as it was with a smaller project, but the 2019 model still comes in 2.1 times as fast as the 2016. Even though its CPUs are clocked at 2.4 gigahertz rather than the 2016's 2.9 gigahertz, each CPU is just doing more work. And now a brief intermission. Go to this URL right now to see my Black Friday sale at hackingwithswift.com slash offers. All my Swift books and bundles are half price. Whether it's Swift with UIKit, with Swift UI, iOS, macOS, tvOS, watchOS, Vapor, testing, design patterns, and more, all half price. Go on, check it out, buy a book. After all, my expensive MacBook Pro won't pay for itself. Now let's move on to a big project, Firefox for iOS. This has some dependencies, so I'm gonna set them both off using the command line to avoid problems. Also, because this takes quite a few minutes to build on both laptops, I've hit the fast forward button. You're watching it build at 10 times the regular speed. While that's working, I can say that Firefox is a complex project with all sorts of languages being used. It's almost 300,000 lines of Swift code, over 100,000 lines of Objective-C, plus 40,000 lines of Rust, and more. Keep in mind that as well as having several large dependencies, Firefox also works on several platforms, iOS, macOS, Windows, Linux, and more. 
so they share quite a lot of code. Okay, so the 16 inch MacBook Pro is now finished and it took six minutes and 12 seconds. The 15 inch MacBook Pro is still working hard, but it'll get there eventually. Now, if you're anything like me, this is the kind of time you open up Twitter and get distracted. Anyway, it's done. And it took eight minutes, 47 seconds. That's a big difference, but less than we saw with the previous two projects. It's a little over 1.4 times as fast. Finally, let's look at a huge project, the Swift compiler itself, including the standard library, foundation, and more. I'm gonna set these two running, and this time I've sped them up even more. You're watching the build take place at 100 times the regular speed, and it still takes a while to complete. While it's building, I should say the complete Swift build weighs in over 4 million lines of C++, 725,000 lines of Swift, 650,000 lines of C, 400,000 lines of assembly, and more. Okay, the 16-inch MacBook Pro finished in 36 minutes and 26 seconds, just over half an hour to build a massive project. It's amazing to think you can build an entire compiler from scratch in that time. Keep in mind this includes LLVM, the Swift Package Manager, Foundation, Dispatch, XE Test, and more. The 15-inch model is still going on. I really hope Apple gives its developers the new Mac Pro. And boom, it's just finished at 1 hour, 22 minutes, and 26 seconds. That puts the 2019 model at 2.26 times as fast as the 2016. The difference is astonishing in a project at this scale. As you've seen, a maxed out 16 inch MacBook Pro performs up to 2.5 times as fast as the 2016, with Firefox being a little bit of an outlier at only 1.4 times as fast. It's hard to say what might cause that speed difference, but I'd imagine that Firefox's compilation isn't able to make full use of the extra cores. Now try to think about this from a productivity perspective. If all your builds run on average twice the speed they do right now, that means you spend less time waiting and more time coding, and can run your test suite more often too. Even if that only adds up to 15 minutes a day saved, that's 75 minutes a week. And if you're working 46 weeks a year, then that's over seven days a year you're now not watching your code compile, never mind all the other performance improvements, such as running tests faster. Okay, that's the end of the tests. I think it's fair to say the new 16 inch MacBook Pro is screamingly fast for developers. And now it's over to you. What do you think about Apple's new laptop? And do you plan to get one, either for yourself or by convincing your boss to invest in one for you? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make lots of free videos teaching you Swift, Swift UI, and much more.